Hi guys, Snake Dodder here. Welcome to Amnesia: The Dark Descent. This is a new series for me. Um, I know tons of other YouTubers have done this video before, this game before, but um, I've kind of not really watched any of them, so I don't really have much of a clue of what the game's about, or you know, haven't really seen much of it at all, reviews or anything like that. So I'm gonna give it, give it a playthrough now. I'm not sure if we'll do the whole game, whether we we'll just do a few parts, whether we'll jump in and out, but um, yeah, we'll see what uh, see what kind of reaction it gets on the channel, and uh, and go from there. Now, I did record this a little while ago with. Uh, this 1.2 gamma setting um, it really didn't come out very bright so I'm gonna start again um, and hopefully this will be much more visible on YouTube because it was dark enough when I previewed the video but I know when uh, YouTube gets its hands on it it gets even darker so I want to uh, make sure we can uh, we can see it at least don't forget here we go some things mustn't be forgotten the shadow hunting me I must hurry my name is Daniel I live in London at, at uh, Mayfair. What have I done? This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Focus. Okay. My name is Daniel. I am Daniel. Oops. You're right. What's happened? Daniel? Daniel! Ah. Right, on your feet, son. On your feet. Memento has been added to the journal, Jay. For quick access to your mementos, press M. Make sure to drink, check these whenever you get stuck. Right, follow the liquid trail and find its source. Okie dokie, well, I guess it means this pink this pink globule on the floor. So let's, uh, let's follow this then. Come on. Oh, walk to the wall. There we go. Oh my god, what was that for? Door's just opened. Oh, I know these are tinder boxes on the floor here from my earlier 10 minute playthrough. And these lights, these help light up the, uh, the candles that we see in the around the rooms. You can normally you can click on them and they, they light up. I guess loads of you already know this anyway because you've probably seen this video to death. But uh, we'll give it a go. Like I said, I haven't had many. Um, subscribers at the moment on my channel, we've only got 10 or 11 at the minute which is, you know, it's alright at the moment, I've only started a few months ago um, but I'd like a few more, so if you do like these videos, tell your friends and like and favourite the videos, share them on, on YouTube and Facebook and uh, on YouTube, on Facebook, Twitter and Google Plus and everything um, and uh, yeah, hopefully we can, is that the right way? Yeah, hopefully we can uh, we can get the name about, my name out there a bit more and uh, Get me a few more followers. Please also comment on the videos if you if you see any of my videos you like or don't like, or is anything I've done I've done wrong or any games you'd like me to play. Just uh, yeah, leave a comment. You can also see uh, contact me through the website or you know there's my my website snakedoctor.co.uk and I'll be happy to uh, chat to you. What's going on here? It's just uh, falling over. Come on, up you get. Still following the pink stuff. So that's, oh dear, what's happened here? Someone's. Oh, that door's just creaked open. There's a. What's this? It's a. Uh, oh, it's a coat of arms. A coat of arms, a uh, knight's armour. Okay, another tinder box. So we've got four so far, which is good. I'm hoping this. Uh, this won't be too. Uh, be too dark uh, when we uh, when we play this because uh, like I said I had a quick 10 minute playthrough earlier and it just uh, can't get in there it was far too dark um, couldn't couldn't see it at all so I thought I better start again I didn't get very far in the game at all any any quarter of an hour video so hopefully uh, hopefully we can get back there quite quickly I'm still following the pink goo. Old archives. 
Travelling to Dover meant going through Canterbury. He made sure to pay a visit to avoid the sense of guilt connected with neglect of family. Okay. Right, well we're still looking through this uh, for this the trail where we're where this pink goo's going. We'll go in here. Witnessing unsettling events will reduce your sanity. It can be increased by completing puzzles and making progress. Tinder boxes. I'll do. Let's get out of there. There's cockroaches on the floor. Come on, there we go. This looks very, very bright on my screen, but like I said, I hope it does just darken down okay. Looks like the uh, trail ends here. Ooh, what's going on? Lantern. Beware. Sometimes your sanity will slowly drain. Okay. No, the trail doesn't end here, it carries on in here. Just turn the light on. Right, it still goes on. There, it's all shaking and uh, rumbling. It's another in the box. Get out of here. Oh, come on, the door. Ah, now the trail ends. Okay. It's focusing me on the desk, so what have we got here? Some oil. So we've got a boil, uh, bottle of oil, seven tinder boxes, and a lantern, which is good. Let's turn the lantern. Oh, we've got lantern on still. Let's read this letter. 19th of August, 1839. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there will be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum. Find Alexander and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours young and strong. He will be no match for easy. you. One last thing. A shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both. Daniel, descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder him. Oh. Your former so, self. This was a letter Daniel. to me, from me, which is uh, which is interesting. I guess I've obviously done something or gone insane or something. All right. What's uh, around here? Anything? Just turn the light on. Oh, there's a. Go. More cockroaches will be darkening. Let's uh, leave this open. Fragrant taste of rose lingered in his mouth. Turkish delights of the like them. He thought, just like the ones at the consulate in Constantinople. Right. To run, hold down the left shift while moving. Okay. Oh, the place has been trashed, sort of crumbled, and fallen down. Oh, blinded. Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking, come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? It's not like going down here. I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious Ooh. chamber, Daniel. What's and this? it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact... It lies beneath the very stone of Brennenberg. Okay, what's this uh, journal came up then? Let's have a look. That's just a note, right? Memento. Some sort of organic tissue blocks the path to, to the refinery. Can it be dissolved? And if uh, flame or 
can't be torn by hand or tools. Ah, huh, can if I... Can I grab this? Nope. Okay, we'll get something to... Uh, something to break that with. We need a torch or some form of fire, don't we, to... to try and knock that, break that through or to make it dissolve. Let's see what we can find in here. Well hidden, let's have a grab more oil for the lantern. We need that, because that's uh sort of fill up the lantern might we these two as we can. Go through here. Oh, hello. Ah. Oh, that's stopping us. Stopping us going that way then. Maybe we can go upstairs then. Oh no, there's another doorway down. Let's go down first. One to the left, one to the right. Let's go right. To the laboratory. The door slammed shut behind him and he knew he would never again see the old tailor at Berkeley Square. Another lone soul in London seemed appropriate somehow. Okay. Lots of uh, echoing sounds going on in here. Let's light this up, shall we? Just a bit more, a bit more uh, visibility. Children's voices. Light that up as well. Oh, a flashback. Uh, there should be more Kubrak. Let me see. Let me see. And one part Aqua Force. Hmm. It's obviously flashing back to. Picked up a chemistry pot. Okay. Early alchemy experiment. This is my third attempt to produce artificial uh, vitae. The former compounds lacked the potency I need, but I sense I'm close. Calamine and or orpiment are a given, and the cuprite binds them well. This time I will attempt aqua regia instead of aqua fortis in hope that it will produce a more even solution. The experiment was unsuccessful. The solution is highly acid and pr proves impractical to put to any ex use except as a detergent guess not quite what he was after. Organic tissue reacts especially violently to the solution and should be handled with the greatest care. Ah, this will open the, uh, get past these, uh, this organic living tissue stuff. I might be able to use the recipe, but I'm using hope that I will find an alchemic solution to my predicament. Okay. So you can press N to bring up the last letter. That's fair enough. So hopefully we can use that to burn our way past. What's this one say? The lack of a chimney to properly vent the fumes from my most recent experiments has taken its toll on many of my less stable ingredients in storage. Some seem unaffected, but many are stained by the fumes and will be difficult to salvage. I shall do what I can to move and move them to the wine cellar. Okay, so that's where we've got a head, which I guess was some more oil. I guess which is where we uh, could have gone instead of going right, we went left. So maybe the other ingredients we need are down there. Hold it together, pal. More oil, which is good. Lots of cockroaches. Even more oil. This is good. This is very good. do down here so let's put the lantern out and get back up oops wrong one back into the entrance hall the other children cheered him on his name was voiced uh, name voiced in a steadily rising pace urging him to do it 
Am I really going to do this? The young boy thought and struck his victim with a rock. Hmm. Charming. Oh, I guess this is the wine cellar. Whoa, what is that? God, oh, that made me jump. Let's go back down here quickly. Jesus, that scared the hell out of me. Right, um. I wasn't expecting someone else's voice then. Wine cellar. It's locked and we're not open without a key. Okay. Brilliant. Well, I guess we're going up where the voice was. Up the stairs. Doors barred. That one's blocked. So looks like we're going straight on. We can go down or we can go to the archives. Let's go in there first. He fell to the kitchen floor. Tears were beginning to well in his eyes as he received the first kick in his stomach. Hazel remained hidden in fear she, t she too would be punished. I don't quite know what these little paragraphs are about. Librarium, well, that's obviously an old word for library. I like Sherlock Holmes, it's amazing. Right, um, open these drawers if we can. Nothing in them. Middle one, nothing in there. That noise is very off putting. Is that a snake or something? Nothing in there either. Okay, stop with that noise. And the letter that walks right past it. 16th of May. 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Hmm. Okay. Well, Daniel clearly was a bit of a an Indiana Jones type character in his uh, former sane life. The cataloguey. Okay. Well, this is obviously some other kind of library or cataloguing system. Can't grab any of these. Ah. Wilhelm's contract. I hereby offer my full attention and services to Alexander, Baron of Brennenberg. This contract will reign for a total of three years when my freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander, Baron of Brennenberg, is to recommend my services at the Prussian Royal Court and within the sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle. May no man break this seal, Wilhelm, House of Gerrick. Okay. Tinderbox in there. So that's good. Shut that. Shut that. Screen's gone all sort of watery, which is a bit odd. Studium study. Let's have a look in here. Oh dear. I need for a new shirt. I'm quite clean. What's this bit say? Seventh Second May, part of the diary. 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. 
It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. No. I was no. trapped. Daniel. Clearly not forever, because he's here now in his oh, a tinder box. Let's grab that. I don't suppose anything the last one, but we'll open it anyway. Okay. Not missing anything here, are we? I think so. Oh. Libra to old tombs, oh Christ. Old tomes, so they asked us to read that properly, didn't I? Oh, strange things going on. Must be sanity. Head is pounding and hands are shaking. Okay. It's probably why me. If there's anything in here, I I've missed something. Ah. Oil and a tinder box. The problem is because I'm playing it so bright to get the uh, to get this uh, visible. Um, obviously, I'm suffering because of it because I can't tell when it's dark or not. Obviously, then my head is pounding, which is why the vision's going a bit blurry. Just trying to get my sanity down a bit. Right. Stay well lit. Okay. that noise? Someone's blood on here. Some more oil. It's going to uh, top up the lantern, I think. There we go. Fill that up. Let's turn the lamp back on then for a bit. Map, don't want that. Another old map. Another old map, okay. Ooh. See maps and stuff in here. Another letter. I hope this is our diary, is it? No. Nope. Oh dear. Just crumpled to the floor. Oh, come on. Come on, Daniel. Stay with us. Stay with us. 17th of May, 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. I'm controlling that, okay. Let's walk towards the light. Into the light, Daniel. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. What is it? I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. Saved. Grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. Well, you were obviously at death's door there originally. We've, uh... Managed to survive. Well, let's get out of here. 
I think for now we'll actually uh, we'll call it there. We'll go in here, have a quick look in here, and then uh, there's a treasure chest or some kind of chest in here. That's some more oil and that, so we'll grab them, and uh, I think when we'll uh, in the light of this window we will uh, we'll call it a day. So for now. Hope you enjoyed this first part. Please remember to share and like and favourite the video and um, yeah, come back soon for the next one. Cheers guys, Snake Doctor, signing out.